my god, traffic. What is up, guys? It is Friday. I just got out of work. I am headed to New Hampshire today because tomorrow and the next day I have off and I'm celebrating my son's second birthday. Holy crap, I have been a father for two years. Can't even believe it. Unbelievable. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, before I was a parent, I had a, a kind of a different life. My wife and I both had a different life where we lived abroad, we lived in South Korea, we were there for years. Um, and things are different over there in the East. They do things a little bit differently uh, in a million different ways. Uh, and it, it seemed like we were always experiencing something different. It, the, 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 the country there <laughs> seemed to have a trick up its sleeve around every corner. And the story that I'm going to tell you is no different. <laughs> So it all started, uh, you know, every, every month we would get paid and we would have to send money back here to the States to put into our bank accounts to pay our student loans. So it was whatever month and I went to the bank and I took our money and I was waiting in line and in the bank over there, you just kind of sit down and they call your number and you go up and you sit with somebody at like a little booth you sit with the teller at this kind of little booth and you do your transaction. My transaction inevitably would just take a longer time than anybody else's because it required, you know, filling out all this paperwork every single time, blah, blah, blah. And while I'm sitting there trying to, you know, you know, not trying to, but, but waiting for everything to kind of go through this one time I was, you know, kind of stretching out and, you know, maybe I was a little bit tired and all of a sudden, the security guard who was patrolling the bank uh, comes up behind me and he starts, and I'm not making this up, he starts massaging me. I'm in a bank and there is a man massaging me and that man works at the bank. And I'm at a bank, I'm at a bank getting a massage. And so at first, I was, <laughs> I was kind of taken back and so I kind of like moved, just like, whoa, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, in my area, you're frisking me down here? And he goes, oh, oh massage massage. <laughs> he's throwing my back. And so, you know, I had this moment where I was like, all right, this is totally weird. This is not okay. And then I just thought to myself, I'm getting a free massage at the bank. This, this will never happen again. Has this ever happened to anybody? I don't think so. Now, I'm not saying that this is like a normal thing that happens over there, but it is just hilarious to think that this is something that would never, ever, under any circumstance, happen in the States. If that ever happened, like, it'd be in the papers. Somebody would, somebody would be throwing punches, I'm sure. It would, I, I, you don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, so that is my story. And so I ask for a story from you. Leave a comment, put it in the description of this video. Tell me about a time where something totally unexpected happened to you and you just had to kind of go with it. And you're like, all right, I guess this works. That's what happened to me. And it's, uh, it's a story to tell and it's a story uh, I like to laugh about. Um, go ahead, like I said, leave a comment in the description. I am on my way up north, very excited, disappointed to be sitting in traffic, but it's a beautiful day. In fact, I'm gonna put my window down and let you guys go. Have a lovely day, and thanks for joining me on the drive home.